Hey, this is Tasha. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be discussing and showing you the 2020 Flat Stomach Challenge by Chloe Ting. My whole goal with the challenge was obviously to get a flat stomach. And I'm going to talk about some of the successes I had and some of the not so much successes I had. And right now, I'm going to show you my starting point. I started with a, I think, a 32 inch waist. And really, my goal is to get down to a 30 inch waist. And I don't know why it's been so difficult for me. My waist used to be like 28 and now I'm like having so much trouble getting down to a 30 inch waist. So I did the flat stomach challenge hoping to get down to a 30 inch waist and you'll see what progress I made at the end. So the first day of the challenge, I went hard, okay? I did everything high impact and doing it exactly how I was supposed to be. And I worked myself a little too hard. I did it super early in the morning. It was me and my cousin. We worked out on Zoom and I don't know if I got overheated or what, but by the end of the workout, I threw up. I threw up. Um, I, I wasn't feeling very good near the end. I kind of told my cousin I needed to stop. Um, actually, in the middle of the last workout, I told my cousin that I, I needed to stop. I was, my head was kind of feeling weird. My stomach was feeling weird and I, I had to chill. And she was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. So we stopped for the day and I ended up throwing up. Like, and I haven't thrown up after working out in a long time, but I, I, I just went, I was too eager, apparently. <laughs> and I really needed to just take it slow. I hadn't worked out in, you know, a month or a month or two, but which is not that bad, but I think that I was just, yeah, just way too eager. And so I threw up, Stuff was coming out the other end too. It was just, it was not a good situation. So the next day that we worked out, we just started doing low impact. <laughs> we just started with the low impact stuff. Um, mostly because if we were working out super early in the morning, it was actually kind of hard to wake up and like go full force. So doing the low impact was a way to kind of warm ourselves into the workouts, which is actually pretty good. And as the challenge started winding down, we started getting to the last couple weeks of it. I started out doing the low impacts and then in the middle of whatever exercise it was, I would do the regular or high impact version of that exercise for the last 20 or 30 seconds of it. So I kind of worked my way up into, you know, feeling like I was actually putting in a lot of the effort. If I could be honest, I am not a fan of Chloe Ting's arm workouts at all i hate arm workouts I, I don't really have a lot of great upper body strength already and then for this particular challenge a flat stomach challenge i didn't really feel like the arm workouts were relevant <laughs> and with the um, butt workouts and us being like on all fours and doing all the planks and all those things i already felt like my arms were getting a workout like they would be in pain after doing those after doing those exercises and I didn't really feel like doing the arm workouts. So the days where it was just arm workouts alone, we either skipped those days or we substituted them with either an ab workout or the butt workouts. And I don't know, I felt like that was a better use of our time. Plus we didn't have actual equipment for some of those arm workouts and it was like, we were just like, what are we even doing here? Then we're not, there's no type of resistance for these exercises, like we're wasting our time. So we substituted and I felt much better about that. I definitely feel like I was much more disciplined with this challenge as opposed to the 2019 two week shred that me and my cousin did back in September. And I think it's because this time around, we basically did all of the days, basically. And last time we would actually like do only like a couple of the workouts and then just not do like the last one because we'd be tired. But this time around, we actually did all the workout schedule for a particular day for most of the days. And then on the days that we did and we at least substituted something in or worked out for the same allotted amount of time. So we definitely were way more consistent and way more disciplined this time around, which I was, I felt really good about. So there's two things that trip me up about all of these fitness challenges. Okay. There's two things. The first thing is my period. <laughs> Every time we work out, it's like, especially if we're doing like a challenge with a certain amount of days, my period decides to show up right in the middle of it and throws me completely off. And I have really, really bad cramps when I get my period. And even though working out helped a little bit, some days I really be off for the count and I'm, and I can't, 
I can't be moving in and out of bed like that. So it throws off the challenge a little bit, but we try to make up for it, you know, in the days um, that we don't work out. We try to, you know, we skip the next rest day or something like that and we, we make up for it. But I need to be more cognizant about scheduling when I'm gonna do these workouts, you know, either, you know, right after my period finishes or right before, you know, have it the challenge in right before it's supposed to start, just so I can get the maximum benefit out of it because I really, I get, I get bloated and I, it just, it's not a good situation. So that's one of the things that trips me up. The second thing that trips me up is food. Food wise, I didn't really eat that great this time around. I'll admit it. I had a lot of um, poison, um, or I mean a lot of McDonald's, and I had a lot of chocolate in the month of February and lots of sugar and sweets. And obviously none of those things help when you're trying to lose inches off of your waist, right? Trying to get a flat stomach. Obviously we know that food is 80% of the job, working out is only 20%. And it's like, I feel like when I start consistently working out, I always feel like I can just eat whatever I want, right? That helps when I'm trying to maintain, but it doesn't help when I'm trying to actually lose. So food wise, I did not do that great this challenge. I, I'll admit that it, it wasn't the best situation. So with all of that said, taking all of the information into consideration, I don't weigh myself like with pounds. I just, you know, check the inches on my body. I ain't lose nothing. I didn't lose nothing. Um, kind of sad to say. I'm a little disappointed. Um, it's interesting because this challenge was 28 days and the two week shred is obviously only 14 days and the two week shred was way more effective and we didn't really even, we weren't that consistent with it. Definitely skipped, some, skipped a lot of things and I lost two and a half inches on that challenge and this challenge, I'm, I stayed the same which was really odd to me. So I think the next one I'm gonna try is the 2022 week shred and see how that works out for me. And I liked the workouts too. I enjoyed, I actually enjoyed the workouts this time around. I decided I was gonna stick with them and I didn't get the results. I didn't get the results that I wanted. What can you do? But if you want to see the success that I had on the 2019 two week shred, you can check out this video here. And if you want to see more content, you can check out this content here. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.